People love their king. They know who keeps them fed. Oh, three times I heard. Hmm. By my leave. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not won. But my Stannis lives. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. Pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. So he's basically rewritten the law, re rewritten the history books, like I said during the Battle of Blackwater episode. The famous Book of Brothers. All the great deeds of all the great kings go out there. So Jamie Lannister. Hmm? <laughs> Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a 40 year old knight with one hand? How can you protect me with that? I use my left hand now, Your Grace. Thanks for more of a contest. I get the feeling he really doesn't like Joffrey. <laughs> Have you ever been to Marine? Several times, Your Grace, with Master Krasnes. And? They say a thousand slaves died building the Great Pyramid of Marine. And now an army of former slaves is marching to her gates. You think the Great Masters are worried? If they're smart, Your Grace. So where does she keep the dragons when they're dormant or when they're not active. The dusk rose. Would you like to walk at the back of the train instead of riding? <laughs> this one's called Lady's Lace. Would you like to walk without shoes? <laughs> you have to know a land to rule it. It's plants, it's rivers. He's not the 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 second son from last season, is he? So it looks like a different actor. But I don't know what his... I don't remember his name from the previous season. The character's name. And? You made a promise. To return the Stark girls to their mother, who is now dead. To keep them safe. Well, Arya Stark hasn't been seen since her father was killed. What do you think she is? My money's undead. There's a certain safety in death, wouldn't you say? Mm. No, and she's Sansa not dead. Stark is now Sansa Lannister. It's a complication. Complication? Does not release you from her vow. What do you want me to do? Kidnap my sister-in-law and, and take her where? Where will she be safer than here? Look me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. Are you sure we're not related? Ever since I've returned, every Lannister I've seen has been a miserable pain in my ass. Maybe you're a Lannister too. But the hair for it, not the looks. <laughs> So who is this following her? It, it's, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's... You're drunk? Yes. I have good reason to be. Once I was a knight, and now I'm only a fool. He was the one... That, that, that Joffrey was going to kill with the wine. I can never repay you. You gave me my life. But this, this is worth more than my life. It belonged to my mother and her mother before her. I can't take it. Take it. Wear it. Let my name have one more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. Is that necklace going to have some kind of significance at some point down the road? When am I going to get a horse of my own? Little lady wants a pony. The little lady wants away from your stench. Horses <laughs> aren't easy to come by. Even if they were, I think I'm going to put you on your own horse. What's the only thing of value I've got in the world right away? <laughs> Why don't you have any money? Didn't you steal anything from Joffrey before you left? No. You're not very smart, are you? I'm not a thief. You're fine with murdering little boys, but thieving is beneath you. Man's got to have a code. You think I'm <laughs> going to escape? Where would I go? I'd be dead by nightfall without you. My family's gone. I've got no one. You've got an aunt in the Vale. 
the rich Aunt Lysa. After I sell you to her, maybe she'll have enough left over to buy you that pony you want so much. Well, she recognizes somebody. I know him. The small one. His name is Pulliver. He captured us and took us to Harren Hall. He killed Lommy. What the fuck's a Lommy? He was my friend. Pulliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. He still got it. What horn? My sword. Needle. Needle. Oh, she named your sword. Lots of people name their swords. Lots of cunts. I was wondering what happened to Needle. I didn't remember that. You Maybe she's about to get it back. <laughs> she's going to get it. I don't care if he ate your friend. We're not going in there. Well, maybe you are going in there. Is Arya going to get another kill? Leave it. Please. She's a good girl. Shut your mouth and pour us more ale. And we may not take her with us when we're done with her. Well, I guess they're going to... Have to pay the punt, pay the price. No, oh, she's going for the sword. All right, new friends to mail. And what's life about a little fun? <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that, eh? She's all right. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You should come with us. His kind, they've always got something hidden away somewhere. Gold, silver, more daughters. Always something if you know how to make them talk. And there's plenty of in between here and King's Landing. You could do well for yourself. We certainly have been. <laughs> He's offering it to the wrong man. I'm not going to King's Landing. But think about it. We can do whatever we like, wherever we go. These are the King's colors. No one's standing in his way now. Which means no one's standing in ours. Fuck the king. <laughs> so I guess she's going to get Needle back now. I heard that Joffrey's dog had tucked tail and run from the Battle of the Blackwater. I didn't believe it. But here you are. Here I am. Bring me one of those chickens. You got money to pay for it. You paid for it. <laughs> no. But we're the king's men. So, you got <laughs> money? Not a penny. I'll still take that chicken. Tell you what. We'll trade you. One of our little chickens for one of yours. <laughs> Give us a go at your friend. Lowell there likes them a bit broken in. You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. <laughs> He's going to take his. <laughs> and hungry. Think I'll take two chickens. He Don't thinks they can take him. Situation. I understand that if any more words come pouring out your cunt mouth, I'm going to have to eat every fucking chicken in this room. You lived your life for the king. You're gonna die for some chickens. <laughs> Someone is. Like I say, Ari's gonna get Needle back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well. There she goes. She didn't do it with Needle, but she got a new kill. And another. There, she's got it. Something wrong with your leg, boy. What? What, what do you mean? Can you walk? I've got to carry you. Carry me? Fine little blade. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> now he knows who she is. Oh, 
So what's that, number three now? She killed the boy. She killed him. She killed the other guy. The four, because she killed somebody in episode 10 from last season. So she's got four kills now. And she's got her horse. <laughs> Well, that was a really good episode to start season four. I like the way it ended with Arya getting Needle back and getting a few more kills under her belt. Thinking back to the first episode of the first season where Bran was practicing with the bow and arrow and missing and not doing very well. And then Arya kind of showed him up and shot the, I think she shot a bullseye. I don't remember now, but she did better than Bran. And of course, he chased after her, if I remember right. But at that point, I think I even commented on that video that I suppose that she's going to become a great warrior or something along those lines. If girls could be, become warriors, if women could be warriors, I didn't, wasn't familiar with this realm and this universe of, that they're in. So I didn't know if women could be warriors. Of course, now we see Brienne, and she's a rather large warrior. And now we have Arya kind of maturing into, I guess you could call her a warrior, or or at least someone who is going around and avenging those that wronged her or wronged her family. And that's kind of the same thing, not really, but, but kind of the same vision that I had back in episode one of season one. So it was fun to see her in this episode there, there at the end get that sword and... and retrieve needle i had wondered what what happened to that and why she didn't have it i didn't remember that it had been taken from her but think now seeing this last person that she just killed i remember that scene now and like i said before the episode started with the hound never really sure is he a good guy or a bad guy and he's kind of in between and sometimes good sometimes bad well in this episode we see he's he's a good guy in this episode that just kind of highlighted what I was saying at the beginning. And Arya seems pretty content to be with him at this point. She got Needle back and she's got her own horse now. She's not trying to run. She's sticking with him. So should be an interesting pairing for however long it lasts. So I look forward to the journey that will be Season 4. So take that journey with me. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified when I upload new content. And also let me know what your observations or your thoughts were on this episode. I'll see you on the next episode.